Hey guys and welcome back to the Long Engine 4 tutorial. In today's video I'm going to be advancing upon a sewing tutorial which I made absolutely ages ago but you don't need to have that, I'm just using the same project. So essentially today what we're going to be doing is creating it so audio muffles when we're underwater. So if your player goes under the water the audio is going to sound different because obviously in real life it does as well. So again I'm using my swimming example but you don't need to have that as well. However it is quite beneficial to at least have the core fundamentals of it even if you don't have all of it done. But let me hit play and I'll show you what we're going to do. So just to test it out, in the background I've got some music playing, as you can hear there. If I then go underwater, you can hear that the audio is now quieter and it's gone muffled. And then if I leave the water once again, you can hear that it's gone back to normal perfectly like so. Again, the swimming looks a little bit messed up, but again, we're not going over that today. We're just doing the audio instead. But without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. Again, this is very simple, so it's probably going to be quite a short video. However, one thing I do want to mention first actually, is wherever your water is, you are going to want to have a physics volume. Let me try and select it. Yep, here's mine, so I have a physics volume. If you go to the details, you just want to take water volume. So that way we now know this is water, like so. so again, wherever your water is, make sure it's in a physics volume with water volume ticked. So this is now water. And then we want to open up our character blueprint, which means content, third person BP, blueprints, third person character, select the character movement, and then search for swimming, and just make sure you tick can swim under movement capabilities. So now that water will act as water and the player will swim while in the water. So that will work perfectly. So we can close that, deselect it like so. And as you can see here, this is the swimming code which I've made in a previous tutorial which I will leave a link to in the description down below. Firstly, we'll just compile and minimize that. And what we want to do is we want to create a sound mix. So I'm going to create a new folder in this. So I'm going to go to content, audio, and then I'm going to right click, go to sounds, and then classes. And I'm going to create a sound class mix. And I'm going to name this one underwater sound mix, like so. And I'm going to open that up straight away. In here, we want to tick apply EQ. And what I'm going to do is simply just change the gains. So we gain 0, gain 1, gain 2, and gain 3, down from 1 to 0 0.2. You can set these values to be absolutely whatever you like. However, I think that 0 0.2 is a good value for me, but pretty much anything close to 0 is good. So again, mess about with these values to get them perfect for you. And you can also change some other settings in here as well. But essentially, gain is the one you're going to want to change to make it sound all muffled. And again, closer to zero, the more muffled it sounds. But change this to get it perfect for you on anything that you want. And of course, down here as well, you can set the fade in and out times to also get it sounding even better and even smoother. But that is the main part done. Just change the gain there. We can save and close that. Now in our character blueprint, what we want to do is we want to get event on movement mode changed. So again, if you've got my swimming stuff, you'll have this. But get event on movement mode changed by so just right click and search for it come out of new movement mode and get an equal equal enum so equal equal enum there with the bottom value as swimming going into a branch so if the new movement mode is swimming if it is swimming so true of this branch what we want to do is we want to push sound mix modifier because we've just made a sound class mix and in sound mix modifier it's going to be the new sound class mix we just made which for me is the underwater sound mix like so and then off a of false of that branch, we're going to clear sound mix modifiers like so to just turn it off and disable it like so. That's now that is it. Like I said, it's very simple. All we're doing is when we start swimming, we're going to give us the underwater effects. And when we stop swimming, we're going to remove them. So we compile and save, and that should now work for us. And again, this code after it is just my swimming. If you don't have it, you just need this part here working like so. And also in my level blueprint, I've just got simply to play the start music and the start content off of event begin play just so I can test it out. So if we hit play, we can now test this out. So here we have the music in the background there. And if I were to go underwater, you can hear that's now muffled. So it's a bit quieter. It sounds more muffled as we're underwater. And then when I leave underwater, it should go back to normal, perfectly like so. So that works great for us. So I think that'll be it for this video. So we've done everything we want to do. We've set it up so we can have normal audio we go underwater and it's now muffled audio, like so. And then when we leave the water, it will go back to normal and this works great. It's just a nice little effect, which gives the player again that sense of realism 
and just more immersion in the game and it works really well. So thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful and if you did make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.